Let's open up our Bibles to Romans 3, verse 23. We ready? Did they read it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Romans 3.23 not only tells us that man has sinned, but also that man has fallen short of the glory of God. Now what does this mean? One of the greatest truths of Christianity is this. We were made for God's glory and His purpose. And man will only find peace as he submits to that purpose. This is very powerful for evangelism. No matter who you talk to, uh, everyone recognizes that the world is wrong something has gone wrong something needs to be fixed we can say this about societies but, but also about cultures but also about families and individual persons there seems to be something wrong. Well, the thing that is wrong is this. We are not living for the reason we were made. We were made for a specific purpose. And that was to bring glory to God by submitting to His will. Why are families messed up? Why are families suffering? Because marriage and family has a specific purpose. To glorify God. When we look out here in the city, are most people living for the glory of God? Almost no one is. Are people married? For the glory of God. Almost no one. Are people um, functioning in their families for the glory of God? Almost no one is. Do governments do what they do in order to glorify God? Are they ruling according the, to the commandments of God? No. Now we understand why the world is wrong. Why the world is suffering. Remember I talked about my bow and arrow? Uh, 
Well, let me give you an illustration. Let's say that I go to the store and buy this guitar. But the next day I bring it back to the store. And I say it doesn't work. And the store owner begins to play it. And he says, of course it works. And I say, this thing doesn't shoot an arrow very good at all. This doesn't shoot an arrow very well. I took it hunting yesterday. And I missed the deer I was shooting at. This doesn't work. What is he going to say to me? He will say, this guitar was not made to shoot an arrow. If you use this guitar for the reason it was made, it will work just fine. That's a good illustration about man. Why is there so much suffering? Men were made for a purpose. To glorify God. To serve God. To submit to His commandments. Many times people will say this. I just don't know why everything is so wrong. And I always say, I do. Do you want me to tell you? I will tell you why everything is wrong. Because men have fallen short of the glory of God. Now we've spent uh, a lot of time talking about sin. Now we're going to change our theme. We've read verse 23. It says, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. So everyone is a sinner. But now we're going to talk about the Christian. About the person who has believed in Jesus. In verse 24 it says, Being justified as a gift by His grace through the redemption which is in Christ Jesus. What does this verse tell us about the Christian? That the Christian was justified. The person who believes in Jesus was justified the moment he first believed in Christ. Now here's the question. What does justified mean? Uh, what does it mean to be justified? Okay, well, let's look here at Romans chapter 4. And verse 7 and 8 gives us a good explanation of righteousness, of justification. Romans Yes, 
त्यो मानिस धन्यको हो जसको पाप लेखा परम प्रभुना Righteousness means that our lawless deeds have been forgiven. धर्मी ठहराउनु भनेको चाहिँ यहाँ चाहिँ धेरै कानूनहरू चाहिँ लाई धेरै पापहरूलाई चाहिँ क्षमा गर्नु हो। Or I'm sorry, justification means धर्मी ठहराउनु भनेको that our uh, lawless deeds have been forgiven. धेरै कुराहरू जहाँ चाहिँ अपराधहरूको क्षमा भएका छन् that our sins have been covered. उनीहरूको पापहरू सबै ढाकिएका छन् and that the lord will not take into account our oh, sin now the first thing i want you to know is this is in the past the moment you believed in jesus you were justified all your sins were forgiven your lawless deeds were forgiven and covered that happened in the past but it continues on now and it will continue on until the day you die you have been justified another thing that i want you to see is that you have been justified from your past sins your present sins and your future sins christ died for all your sins past present and future they are all paid for. Do you see that? It's very important. Now, to be justified means that our sins are forgiven. But it also means something else. Go to 2 Corinthians 5.21 it says that not only have our sins been forgiven but we have become the righteousness of God in Christ so when we believe in Christ, our sins are no longer taken into account. They have been pardoned. But also we have been given the righteousness of Christ. The perfect life that he lived when he was on the earth that is given to us. It is considered to be ours. Jesus always did the will of the Father. That is why God said, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Jesus followed his Father perfectly. 
प्रभु यीशु कृष्णले आफ्नो पिताको पूरा इच्छालाई पालन गर्नुभयो एन्ड द फादर वाज वेल प्लीज्ड विथ हिम अनि उहाँको पिता चाहिँ पूरा उहाँमा सन्तुष्टि रूपमा खुशी हुनुभयो दैट परफेक्ट लाइफ दैट जीसस लिव ते धर्मी जीवन जिएर प्रभु यीशु कृष्णले इज गिवन टू अस हामीलाई पनि त्यसरी नै हामीलाई प्रकट गरिदिनु भएको छ दिनु भएको छ प्रभु यीशु कृष्णले सो दैट बिकज अफ आवर फेथ इन जीसस किनकि हाम्रो विश्वासको कारणले यीशुमा The father is well pleased with us. Ah, uh, uh, Parmeshwar Pita, hami sanga pani prasanna hunu bhai kuch. This never changes. Yo kahi le pani badla hunu sakdai na. Because we are justified. Kine ki hami chay dharmi thariye kacho. Not by what we do. To hamle hamle gari ko karan le hoy na. But by what Jesus did for us. Kine ki kine ki Prabhu Yeshu Krishna gari nu bhai ko karan le. And that never changes. Yo kahi le pani badla hunu sakdai na. Do you see that? के यो तपाईले देख्नु भयो वी ह्याव बीन जस्टिफाइड हामी चाहिँ धर्मी ठरिएका छौ आवर सिन्स ह्याव बीन फर्गिवन हाम्रो सबै पापहरु चाहिँ क्षमा भएको छ आवर सिन्स इन द पास्ट हाम्रो भूतको पापहरु आवर सिन्स इन द प्रेजेन्ट अहिलेको वर्तमान पापहरु एन्ड आवर सिन्स इन द फ्युचर आउने भविष्यका पापहरु पनि ह्याव ऑल बीन पेड फर सबै कुराहरुको दाम प्रभु यीशु ख्रीष्ट दिनु भएको छ देयर गोन पढ्ने अ they they have they are all gone they have oh. been paid for ti sabai kura haru samapta bhayeka chan sabai kura haru dam prabhu yesu khile tirdin bhayeka chan and the perfect life that jesus lived jun chai ekdam siddha jivan prabhu yesu khile jiunu bhayeko thiyo has been given to us atyo chai hami lai prabhu le dinu bhayeko let me give you an illustration ma tapai lai feri pani udharan dina chahanchu do you know how joseph had a coat of many colors tapai lai thaha cha yesu ko kati त्यो लुगाहरु धेरै प्रकारको रंगको कपडाहरु थियो इट वाज अ ब्यूटीफुल कोट उसको कपडाहरुमा एकदम रंगहरु राम्रो राम्रो कलरको उले कपडा लाउँथ्यो डिड ही शेयर इट विथ हिज ब्रदर्स के उले चाहिँ आफ्नो भाइलाई चाहिँ उले दिन्थ्यो त उ गरे लाउँथ्यो उनीले नो लाउँदैन थियो बट जीसस शेयर्स हिज कोट अफ राइटियसनेस विथ अस तर चाहिँ प्रभु येशु ख्रीष्टले उहाँको धार्मिकताको कोट हामीलाई पहिराइदिनु भएको छ आमेन He covers us in his righteousness. उहाँले चाहिँ उहाँको पवित्रताले धार्मिकताले हामीलाई चाहिँ ढाक्नु भएको छोप्नु भएको छ. He clothes us in his righteousness. उहाँले चाहिँ छोप्नु भएको छ उहाँको धार्मिकताले हामीलाई. And so we have a perfect standing before God. अनि त्यसैकारणले चाहिँ हामी चाहिँ पूरा रूपमा सक्षम रूपमा प्रभुको अगाडि आएर उपस्थित हुन सक्छौं. We deserve to be condemned. हामी चाहिँ हामीलाई चाहिँ दोषी ठहर हामी दोषी हुनु पर्दथ्यो. by ourselves hami hamro aphnai karan le our righteousness is like filthy rags hamro chai kunai pani esto asal kaam haru dharmik ta kaam haru chai euta jhutre jhamrai ho but in jesus all our sins are forgiven tara chai prabhu yesu krishna hamro sabai paap haru chai khama bhayeko cha we are cleansed of our filthiness hamro sabai galat vichar haru galat kaam haru chai uha ko atma le chai dhoi dinu bhayeko cha and we are dressed in the perfect life the perfect righteousness of jesus hami chai pura swachh ani pavitra uha ko vastra hamle dharan garnu bhayecha prabhu yesu krishna hamle tyo dharan garai dinu bhayecha isn't that amazing ki tyo yo chai kati achamma kura chaina ra hamro lagi that's good news yo chai hamro lagi shubh samachar ho wonderful news achamma kura ho ya hamro lagi it's also something that protects us yo pani from the accusations of the devil यो पनि हामीलाई चाहिँ शैतानको यस्तो शैतानको जालजालबाट नै हामीलाई चाहिँ सुरक्षा गर्दछ इफ ही अटैक्स अस के यदि उसले हामीलाई चाहिँ आक्रमण गर्दछ एन्ड सेज वी आर नॉट वर्दी टु गो टु हेभन हामी चाहिँ कुनै यस्तो हामी सक्षम छैन स्वर्गमा जानको लागि डु यु नो हाउ वी डिफीट हिम के तपाईहरूलाई थाहा छ हामी कसरी लडाई गर्न सक्छौ उसँग वी एग्री विथ हिम हामी उसको कुरा समर्थन गर्छौ वी से यु आर राइट हामीले भन्छौ ठीक हो आई एम नॉट वर्दी टु गो टु हेभन हामी चाहिँ सक्षम छैनौ स्वर्ग जानको लागि बट आई एम नॉट ट्रस्टिंग इन माइ ओन वर्क्स तर म चाहिँ आफ्नै व्यक्तिगत कामको म काममा म भरोसा गर्दिन विश्वास गर्दिन आई एम ट्रस्टिंग इन व्हाट जीसस डिड फर मी तर म चाहिँ चाहिँ प्रभु यीशु कृष्णमा विश्वास गर्दछु प्रभु यीशुले भन्नु गर्नु भएको त आई एम गोइंग टु हेभन बिकज अफ हिम म चाहिँ स्वर्गमा जान्छु यीशु कृष्णको कारणद्वारा and there's nothing you can do about him ate hamile chai tesai karana timile yo kura kei pani garna sakdainau now 
Let's let's go back to Romans chapter 3. In verse 23 it says for uh, all have sinned. But in verse 24 it says the Christian has been justified. Now justified is a legal term. I want you to look at it this way. I want you to look at it this way. The day or the moment you trusted in Christ. Did you become at that moment perfectly righteous? No. No. You still sin. Justification uh, does not mean that the moment you believed uh, you were transformed into a creature uh, who was perfectly righteous and would never sin again. You still sin. Justification means this. The moment you believed in Jesus, God legally declared you to be right with Him. You have sinned. But God looks at you and because of your faith in Jesus, He declares you to be perfectly right with Him. And He treats you as someone perfectly right with Him. Because of your faith in Jesus. Do you see that? It's a legal declaration. I still sin. But God has declared me to be right with Him. Not because of me, but in spite of me. He has declared me right with him because of Jesus. Do you see that? Now, let's just look at religion for a moment. Let's look at uh, the Jewish faith, the Muslim faith, and the Christian faith. Now let's first look at the Jewish man. You ask him, if you died right now, where would you go? And he says, heaven. You ask him why. And he says, I love the law of God. I am an obedient man. I I am a good man. And so I deserve to go to heaven. <laughs> now you go to the Muslim. If you died right now, where would you go? And he says, I would go to paradise. Why? And he says, I love the Quran. I obey the Quran. 
I've made all the pilgrimages. I say the prayers. I am a good man. I deserve to go to heaven. Now you go to the Christian. A real Christian. Because there's a lot of false ones. But you go to the real Christian. And you ask, if you died right now, where would you go? And he says, to heaven. And you ask, why? And he says, <coughs> I was born in sin. And I have broken all the laws of God. And I deserve to go to hell. And you stop him. You say, hold it. I don't understand. I understand the Jewish man. He says he's going to heaven. Because he's a good man. And he deserves it. I understand the Muslim man. He says he's going to heaven. Because he's a good man. And, and he deserves it. But you are telling me that you are going to heaven. He, even though you don't deserve it. How are you going to heaven? You have no virtue or merit. And the Christian says this. I'm going to heaven. Because of the virtue and the merit of another. I'm going to heaven because of what the Son of God did for me. I am not going to heaven because of what I did for God. I'm going to heaven because of what God did for me. Do you see that? The Christian is the only man that can say that he is going to heaven and not be boasting. Because he is not talking about himself. But he's talking about Jesus. All the other religions cause men to hope in themselves. In Christianity, we hope only in Jesus. All the other religions talk about what they do for God. But in Christianity, we talk about what God has done for us. Do you see the difference? Now, he says also, that we are justified as a gift we are justified as a gift by His grace. It's almost like He's repeating Himself. Now, 
Again, this is the difference between Christianity and all other religions. Yeh kura hami bhinna ta paunsom ki hami Christian aur na auru dharma aur ko baal ma yehi hami esari bhinna ta paunsom. All other religions, salvation is earned. Ah, auru dharma aur le paunsom ki mukti chay paincha. But in Christianity, it is received as a gift. Tarat se Christian aur ma hami le chay paunsom aur kosi le dinsa. Now it says here, justified as a gift. The word gift here is very important. The word is used in another place in the book of John. It's used in this sentence. Jesus said, they hated me without a cause. What he was saying is this. No one, he, that he never gave anyone a reason for hating him. They hated him without a cause. That's the same word used here. And what it means is this. When it says that we are justified as a gift, it means that God declared us right with him without a cause. We did not give him reason to do it. So he saved us not because of us but in spite of us. We never gave him a reason to let us into heaven. We gave him every reason to send us to hell. He saved us not because of us. But because of who he is. Our salvation depends on him. And he receives all the glory. Now also it says here. That we are justified as a gift by His grace through the redemption. The word redemption is important. It means to set someone free to liberate them from a prison or to free them from captivity <laughs> by paying a price. A price was paid so that you could be set free. What was that price? It was the blood of God's own Son. Now, to whom was the price paid? It was not paid to the devil. It was paid to God. The justice of God. We have broken God's law. God is a just God. His justice demanded payment. We could pay for our sins in hell. 
But Jesus Christ took our place. He carried our guilt. And he died. And he paid our debt. He set us free. From condemnation and death. By paying the price that justice demanded. The, the wages of sin is death. Jesus paid them. For all his people. Now finally. It says. That. Being justified as a gift by His grace through the redemption which is in Christ Jesus. The phrase in Christ Jesus is very important. I want you to think about two circles. One is Adam, and the other is Christ. You were born in Adam. You were born condemned in Adam. You were born a sinner in Adam. If you stay in Adam, you will die and go to hell. But by faith in Jesus, we are in Christ. In Christ, there is forgiveness. Freedom from sin. Justification. Eternal life in Christ. Now let me say this. Jesus is not only all that we need. Jesus is all that we need. But also we can say. Jesus is all that we have. Without Jesus, we have nothing. Nothing. Your right standing before God. <coughs> is only in Jesus. You have nothing. I have nothing. Only Jesus. That's what the world needs to know. Salvation is found only in Jesus. Also, for the Christian, this is very important. It keeps us from pride. Anything that we have that is good is because of Jesus. Another thing that is important because Jesus paid for our sins, because He gave His blood, it moves us to love Him. It causes us to want to please Him. To be like Him. And to serve Him. 
We serve Jesus because of what he did for us. It's all about him. Why does the Christian not lie? Because of Jesus. He wants to please Jesus. Why should we love our wives? Because it pleases Jesus. Everything we do, we do for Him. Do you see? Let's pray. Please visit our website at heartcrymissionary.com. There you will find information about the ministry, our purpose, beliefs and methodologies, and extensive information about the missionaries we are privileged to serve.